Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is what Zone Jones talking about something that I am really, really shocked about. UFC 151 is canceled? Damn, how the hell did that happen? Well, basically, Dan Henderson had got hurt. He had tore something, you know, in his body. I know I can't remember, you know, exactly what it was, but he, you know, he had a tear in his body. And when you have a tear, you know, you can't fight with those. You know, you fight with a tear, you can f yourself up. And you know, when you get a tear, right, well, you, you're really technically you already f yourself up. But you know, you can really, really f yourself up. You know, you can end your career if you fight with a tear. So we can understand the reason why Dan Henderson, you know, can't fight, at, you know, fight John Jones at UFC. 151. Now, Dana White is clearly, clearly not happy with the fact that John Jones won't step up and fight at UFC 151. Apparently, well, not apparently. This is what this is everything that Dana White has said. You no, know, at you no, know, at this press conference call, you know, he has said that well, he had contacted Chael Sonnen so he can fight John Jones. And Chael Sonnen basically said, yeah, I'll, I'll fly over to, to Vegas you know, tonight. He literally said that. I'll fly over to Vegas tonight. And John Jones had basically said, no, I'm not fighting Chael Sonnen, you know, because he wasn't ready for Chael Sonnen. You no, know, basically because he didn't train for Chael Sonnen. And I, be, I think he basically saying no because of Greg Jackson, you know, his fight coach. Greg Jackson, you know, the, you know, the very famous Greg Jackson, you know, camp Greg Jackson I think is just basically being very very careful maybe a little bit too careful and it's getting to the point where it is literally pissing Dana White off and maybe some of the fans out there because this is a match that everybody wanted to see this is the fight that a lot of people wanted to see we wanted to see this fight we wanted to see John Jones versus Dan Henderson we wanted to see if Dan Henderson could beat this guy we wanted to see that and we're not going to get that at least right now because you know Dan Henderson is gone he's out the next number one contender is Lyoto Machida a guy who John Jones doesn't want to fight not because he's afraid of him or anything not because he doesn't think that he can beat him but because he doesn't feel like he can make the most amount of money with that guy hmm Dana White isn't happy with John Jones' decision at all. He is pissed off at Greg Jackson. He said that Greg Jackson was a weirdo. And, you know, basically, he basically had said that, you know, Greg, he was pissed off at Greg because he he's basically one of the reasons why John Jones isn't fighting Chael Sonnen at the UFC 151 pay-per-view. Now, one of the things they're pissed off is because they already promoted this card. The card has already been promoted. We've been expecting this fight, you know, for the last couple of months. So they already promoted the fight, you know, which means they already put money in the fight. Now, all that money has gone to shit. The money was wasted, you know. Of the, there's no money to be made back. So, you know, when they put money into a card, into a pay-per-view, they're expecting to make that money back. So they just wasted all of that damn money. And there ain't no telling how much money they put into that card. So we don't know how much money. You know, I don't know. You don't know exactly. You know, only Dana White and, and, and the people who, who had something to do with putting money into that card knows really how much money they actually put in it. You know, I'm pretty sure they put a fortune in building up this car because, well, it's John Jones and Dan Henderson, a legend. So he is, he said that he was disgusted with John Jones. So, you know, a lot of people already don't like John Jones, where they feel that he was too cocky and arrogant. You know, now they don't like the fact that he's becoming too business, you know, business savvy. You know, he, he's becoming really business savvy, you know, sort of bougie like. You know, a lot of people is not going to like this. So he's going to have even more haters now that's going to say, well, you didn't step up and fight. You're not really the champion. Dana White said this is the first time that a champion didn't accept a fight. Dana White literally said that. He was saying that all through the press conference calls that, that, that John Jones was the first champion not to accept a fight. And guess what? Dana White doesn't like that. Like, he's pissed. 
he's pissed. He says he's disgusted with John Jones. He's disgusted with his decision. He's disgusted with Greg Jackson. He's disgusted with these guys. And I already know that Chell Sonnen is going to come back and say, oh, well, this guy's a bitch. He's not really a champion. He's going he's gonna to be typing that all on his um, all on his Twitter, you know, Facebook, whatever. He's going to do interviews about John Jones not accepting the match. And, you, you know, be prepared for a lot of backlash after this. I'm, I'm interested in hearing what John Jones has got to say because, you know, he basically, you know, from what I hear, he said that, well, He's not ready for him. He didn't train for him. He was training for Dan Henderson. Now, I'm starting to really think, does John Jones think that he can't beat this guy? No, I, I think he can beat him. Really, the only thing that Chael Sonnen can really do or try to do is really take him down. And let's be honest here, he got really good takedown defense. So I'm a little disappointed at that, that he didn't really accept that fight. You know, that's a fight I'm interested in. They've been talking trash about one another. But, you know... Those are really my those are my thoughts. You know, it's, it's sad. UFC 151 was canceled, so all those people who made flights and you know who was planning on going out there, they gotta make they gotta see if they can get their money back. I know I'll be pissed if I couldn't get my money back. Hey, that's unfortunate, but what can we really do but wait and see what the hell is gonna happen and who's gonna get the next shot? What well, Loyola Machida is gonna get the next shot? So, those are my thoughts on that situation. This is what Zone Jones. Dana White is really pissed off at Greg Jackson and John Jones. So, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. I'm out. Deuces.